Oh yeah. Can a three dollar game be good? Actually, yes. Here's the game. Now, of course, you need to temper your expectations because it is only a five dollar game. I got it for three bucks on sale. Now, unfortunately, uh, RNG spawned me into a location with not a lot of crap around. So we're going to have to fly to it. And it's basically raft. Oh, here comes the junk. Okay. It, um, it may be because I told it to give me the, uh, um, uh, the intro, to show me the intro, and I skipped the intro, so it's possible that uh, all the items haven't floated near the base yet, but here they are. So, at the very beginning, <clears throat> the, um, the difficulty curve is, is very high, because you have nothing, basically. And you can't hold anything. So you have to pick and choose what you want to grab. And it can be difficult to prioritize things, because you, uh, you need very specific ingredients. Um, ooh, ooh, there's food right there. Ah, I missed it. It's also a very quiet game. There really needs to be more um, audio engineering done on this. Uh, the sound of thrusters would be nice while floating around. And I have, a, I have, of course, oh, come on, get back here. Ah. Now you can match speed to things that are floating. Uh, let's get rid of. Uh, wire for now. I need this because I need some food and oxygen. There we go. So we have some of the the basic ingredients of life, which is scrap metal and plastic. The constituencies of Earth. And you can hurt yourself if you bash into these things too hard. Key bindings kind of suck, but whatever. No, that's food. Everything is a different shape, so that's kind of good. Now, do I have enough to make an axe yet? Yes, I do. Okay, so now we have a pickaxe. And a pickaxe will let us do lots of different things, like break down these big pieces of, uh, of starship. From our, our intercellar splody accident. And now we need a whole bunch of different things. And not anything that I have on me already. And I'm not sure you can actually hold them. So let's. Oh, we need. Oh, crap. I threw them away. There we go. Oh, plastic and rubber will give us a backpack. So let's go for plastic and rubber. You gotta kinda remember that you're in space. So you have to uh, exaggerate your course a little bit because you have to overcome your own momentum. Do I have enough now? No, I need much more plastic. I don't have any plastic. We're going to get rid of that metal, even though metal is one of the, the harder things to find.
Oh, just missed it. Your reach is not super far in this. There's food, but it's a different kind of food than I have on me, so that's not going to help, because I don't have enough room. Uh, let's make sure we get some more rubber, too, because we're going to need rubber later on. Oh, I thought I saw red. Oh, I did see red. There. Now that I got a backpack, I've got more storage. And I can beat the shit out of these big ones. Here, let's add the sound effect ourselves. I'm not sure if that was more annoying than funny. <laughs> oh, God. My mama always used to tell me that I'll always have myself to entertain. The one thing that indie games seem to lack um, is the ability to sort stuff. Like, there's no automatic stacking in a lot of um, low-budget games that I've played, and it's, it's kind of odd um, how consistent it is. Uh, like, even with Stationaires. Stationaires, if you push... Um, if you put uh, uh, a stack of ore into, an, into a, a container, and there's another stack of ore in that container, it won't automatically combine the stacks. It'll just make a new stack. But that's something that it seems like all AAA companies um, strive to do. Ah, fuck, come on. Cookies! I've got cookies! Cookies, 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 cookies. The only one thing that tastes like cookies, and that's cookies! I'm not the cookie monster. I'm the cookie whore! There we go. Now, let's see. Uh, of course, we don't have enough. But uh, we probably have enough for a chest. And then we can place the chest down. One on the... Oop. One on this side. Oops. One on this side. Very close like that. Click. And we will put everything in there. Actually, not everything. Let's, let's keep... Oh, that halves it. Okay, good. Alt halves. There. We'll put that in there. And we'll go out hunting some more. And the reason I want some scrap and rubber on me is so that I can make more uh, pickaxes. There is a repair station, um, but the repair station is proportional to how degraded your tool is. So if my uh, pickaxe was half degraded, um, I would have to spend half the resources repairing it. Which means something like the pickaxe, which um, has very few resources, needs very few resources to build, it's not really worth it to uh, uh, to repair it because who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? I have to say, for such a cheap game and uh, one that's sort of uh, vacant of features, it is kind of fun to play. Um, I find the um, Using the Newtonian, like, like fighting against, not fighting against, but trying to um, 
fly with Newtonian physics. I don't know how to say that properly, but flying around um, and compensating for drift and things like that, I find entertains my brain uh, quite well. So it's nice. It's it's engaging. The simple pleasures of just floating around. Although there's some games where the point of the game is just to float around. Uh, I forget what the name of the game was. It was some underwater explorey thing, and all you really did was just swim from one um, location to another, and then you would see like a bunch of fish or something swimming around. I forget what it was called. I'm not looking it up, though, because while it was very pretty, I would rather watch a YouTube video of it than download the game. Or play the game. Um, I, I paid for the game because it was a very pretty game. And uh, the people who made it should absolutely be rewarded with be having purchased. Having a purchase. Whatever. But playing it myself, I was not enthused. And the controls were kind of weird. Okay, so we have enough. See, that's a great big uh, chunk of spaceship over there. I think that might be scripted. Because the last time I played, a big chunk of spaceship was really close by. Not that close. It might be that close because I was uh, further away, but uh, uh, I do think it's... Huh? I don't have enough... Oh, I don't have enough metal. You prick face bastard. No, you dick face bastard! Get back here. Get back here before I murder you. Just want to make sure I have enough to make another pickaxe if I need it. And we're going to explore that big piece of crap over there. Sometimes um, it acts like the key hasn't been pressed. But I have the auto stop feature on, like the uh, um, auto stabilize. Oops, and I just hurt myself. Uh, I have the auto-stabilize feature on, so it uh, it stops me. So part, I know that part of the key down event is functioning, because I will continue floating. But, I actually bash these in. Like, I'm not sure what this big chunk here is for. Because you can't do anything in it besides fine crap. And it's not very much crap, either. Oh, I found some meat! Yeah, it's no good uh, stocking up uh, food items and things like that, because you find them pretty regularly. There's no point in... And stockpiling them. Although I will always stockpile cookies. Because D is for cookies. Oh, that's that side of the wall. So you can definitely see the influence of a bunch of different games in this game. Uh, most certainly Raft. Um, Subnautica, I think. Space Engineers seems to be represented um, with the design of some of the objects. And to be clear, I don't know if, if any of this stuff is assets. Like these, these cases here, um, they look very similar to like um, the buttons in Space Engineers, but and that could just be coincidence. It could be that these are assets that are uh, built by somebody else, because it's just one guy, and you can't really expect one guy to do um, absolutely everything. Although, the guy who did uh, Stardew Valley most certainly did everything himself. But it also took him, like, ten years to make his game. Ow! I smashed my face in!
Okay, I've got all the bits. And I can... Let's see. I might have... Oh, it's right, mouse button. Oh, whatever. Okay, so... Uh, let's... Uh, that's another thing. Um, the 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 menus aren't properly sequestered away from one another. Okay, so I need to unlock. Oh no, the blueprint machine is here. Okay, so this allows you to make floors and shit, uh, which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to make floors and shit. Ow! I wish there was more, um, shapes. I would like there, I'd like to be able to uh, have, like, a, a triangle shape here, at least like that, so that I could have sort of a nose cone. Any more scrap, any more rubber. I got the toe. Uh, nope. Okay. Can I get a wall? Wall. There we go. A wall. Can I get a ceiling with a light on it? Can I get a ceiling without a light on it? Yes, I can. They're cheaper. Now, um, lights, I think, should be free. Like, you have to, you have to pay electricity for the lights. Um, and it makes me not want to use the lights, because generating electricity is sort of a pain in the ass, kind of. And the, um, the generator, I wouldn't mind the generator running flat out, and, um, you losing whatever resources you put into it, because it's just running all the time. If you could daisy chain the batteries onto them so that you could charge the battery, and then when the generator was off, the um, appliance would use the battery. And you can kind of do that, except the battery doesn't charge while the appliance is working. Even though you can, you can charge the appliance and the battery separately, when they're daisy changed, chained, the battery will not charge which is an oversight, I think. Now, right now, the guy who's made this game is basically saying that he's he's digesting a lot of feedback. So the next update could be a fairly big one. Um, but who knows when that's going to be, because obviously the guy's not living off of the um, money being made off of this game, because... It's a $5 game, and uh, I doubt very much he's selling um, hundreds of thousands of copies at this point. So he's probably working at the same time. Unless he's a student, and he's, you know, doing this in his, in his student time. Is that a harvestable or explorable chunk right there? I think that's harvestable. So, we might see an update in, like, a couple months, but it could also be a couple years if he's, you know, busy. When I was working, getting me, getting me to do anything um, outside of what was required for work was almost impossible. Because for the, for the most part, the kind of jobs that I took were, like, piecework kind of things, so... The more I did, the more I got paid. So, I would do a lot of shit all at the same time. So that I could get lots of money. And my hobbies went by the wayside. And the only way I could keep my friends was to keep them on the payroll. And that is only half a joke. Seriously, it's only half a joke. Uh, one of my closer friends, I would literally write him a check every week. And I don't want to say I would write him the check so he would hang out with me, but 
I basically wrote him the check so he'd hang out with me. Now, as you can see, I have a serious lack of metal. Because metal are these flat pieces over here. I think this is metal. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to find them. And that's uh, sort of... It's not really metal, it's more like plate metal. And I think... Yeah, this is a harvestable, so... It's kind of difficult to pick things out at a different at a distance. Like some shapes are really easy to find, like these these rubber shapes. You just get them. Um, and scrap is just like little pieces of anything, like right here, a little 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 dick shaped thing. But um, metal plate metal is is very important in this game, and you cannot create it. Almost everything else you could create, or you can you can strip off things to get different things, but uh, metal, no. You can't even melt them down to get other metal, but you can make the electronic parts. These rocks are harvestable later, and they're also annoying to harvest because it takes a long time, and you only get a few pieces out of it. And actually, well, the one complaint that I do have about this game is that everything takes too long. I would, uh, I would much rather go faster. But I have the same complaint with uh, Raft. I think Raft takes too long. Now, you think this would give you metal, but it doesn't. Like plate metal. It just gives you scrap metal, which is unfortunate. And you have to keep looking around for more metal. Uh, let's head back to the ship, because I've never been this far out before, and I don't know at what point you'll lose the ship. Uh, but you can accelerate basically forever. I'm not sure there's a top speed. There. Hello, home. And plastic is something you find a lot of. There's there's really no shortage of plastic in this game. Okay, so let's continue on with the buildy build. Yeah, where is there it is? I want more windows. Fuck off. And that's it. That's all we could build. With all the shit we picked up, that's it. That's all. Nothing more. Go fuck yourself. One more. Yeah. Why does it say I only have 13? Come on. There we go. Oh, rubber. No more rubber. Go fuck yourself. That's what the game is saying to you. Saying, go fuck yourself. Eat shit and die. Okay, that's it again. See if we can't get the uh, wall. No, we can't get the walls. Oh, that's a door. No, no, we don't need a door yet. We need a wall. There. And a uh, wall here? Nope, can't get a wall. No walls for you! Well, let's grab all of the... Uh, put that here. We'll put that here. And we'll put that there, and put that there, and we'll put that here. There we go. And... No, not that. That. There we go. Now, um...
we can unlock these things. Oh, we need wire to unlock that. And we can't unlock bolts yet. We need to get down to the bolts here. I have no idea what the gravity hook is. Maybe it's a flying thing? More unlocking? There we go, we've unlocked everything from the first to... First tier of stuff. And to unlock the second tier of stuff, all we have to do is make bolts. And we don't have a lot of bolts to make. So go fuck yourself. And let's offload as much as we can here. Uh, again, plastic will be the thing that we get the most of. I think I see a new giant piece over there. Let's look at it. Uh, I heard a whoosh sound. Okay, whatever. Oh, there we go. Is this new? No, this is the one I explored a minute ago. And this is a new one. Or did it break apart? Now, this one's not smashable, so that's a nothing. Neither is this. Uh, this looks like a cannon or something. Oh, we found an access card. And these look like either escape pods or coffins. Come on, forward. Uh, and this is a nothing. Yeah, so all I got out of that was an access card, which I don't super care about. Because the game really doesn't give me a reason to care about them. Like, I witnessed what happened. Why do I need to see? Uh, why do I need, like, records to tell me that they got blasted by a laser? Like, seriously. It's like asking the, uh, the, the 500th person that come off the... Uh, that, you get, that you pull off of a, a Titanic's... Uh, um, lifeboat and say, Did you see what happened? Uh, well, no shit, everybody saw what happened. I also find these nebulas kind of interesting, because it looks like they're a bunch of 2D objects stacked on top of each other. And why does a ship, a huge ship, need landing gear? And a big-ass diode. We're home. We're home. Unlock missions. So I guess we've got like black boxes and stuff that we have to find. But seriously, who cares? I'm not playing the game to find like black boxes and shit. I'm playing the game to to make a a, a floating garbage scow. Oh my god! We just have enough. Yeah. Back out we go to chop big pieces of starship. Where is the closest big piece of starship? There it is. Let's chop that one. Is this another ship? Or is it the same ship just drifted apart slightly? 
I think it might be the same ship. Yeah, it's the same ship. Yep. 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 Bye, Dillweed. Jesus Christ, it's hard to get things done on this game. Okay, let's start making some crap. Uh, one thing I appreciate about this uh, game that you can craft from inside your uh, chests. Uh, which means that you don't need to, like, load it into your inventory first. Which is nice. It's very nice. Now let's put this right in the middle of the way. Right there. And now we need... Oh, oh, let's go back to the chest. Go back to the chest! And then we need a... Recycler. No, we need more rubber! No! 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 <laughs> okay, let's go back out. Okay, now do we have enough rubber? Yes, we do. And the recycler, we are going to put... Right there. But what we also need is we need nippers. <laughs> no more rubber. I fucking hate everybody in the world. Okay, now we can connect this, 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 with this. There. And we can put that over there. Put that over there. And put that over there. And there. And now. We can fuel this up, and then we can tell it to scrap all of the um, wire. That's because I want to. Uh, we'll grab that. We got over there. We'll grab that. There we go. And uh, what else can we make? Okay, so now we have a borer, uh, which will let us um, uh, mine those chunky stones over there. there we go. Uh, uh, let's let's do some more. Because wire is kind of semi easy to get. Okay, we seem to be in an area that's green. Um, I think I am in a no a no man's zone. Okay, so those aren't um uh those aren't mineables. The mineables are actually colored. So I'm about to do something pretty dumb here. I just got finished uh, crafting the engine, and I just enabled it. And then I'm going to hook up the engine to the uh, power generator over there. Then I'm going to turn it on. Now this is what I, would, I meant to do. I meant to do this. But what I didn't think was going to happen is this.
what I was aiming for was to use the whole ship as a ram scoop to be able to you know, fly into the bits of stuff floating around and catch it in the back of the ship. And it kind of worked at first. At first, I was able to stand uh, on, the, on the deck and stuff was starting to fly in. But because it was flying too fast at 10 meters a second, it started, it was phasing through the back wall. And I think something hit me. And that's why I started flying out the back. That was fun. <laughs> Now I have to catch up. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Good thing it ran out of fuel. <laughs> that was great. I'm I'm guessing it's not as dangerous if uh, if uh... <laughs> I guess it's a lot better if uh, if the doors are closed and you're actually standing. I'm I'm guessing that um, a battery is probably going to be the best way to fly the ship. <laughs> That was great. Uh. Okay, let's build a uh, an orangery. Need two plastic parts for that. There we go. And we're gonna put this back here. There. And then we can load it up with uh, cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. And I am going to make a a solar panel. I need two two processors for that, so one more processor. I don't know if I have enough aluminum. Okay, so... Solar panel. Oh, we need beryllium. Okay. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so I got a solar panel. Where does it go? Probably outside somewhere. Okay. So if if the if there is shadows on the top of the uh the ship that means that the the star is ooh look at that caught some I think uh who knows Let's do that way that way. Hmm. It seems like it wants to turn away from the sun.
Now let's connect this up. Hmm. I can't hook it up. Okay, that snaps. That does not snap. So I'm guessing I pretty much have to have a battery on anything with a... Uh, Where's the battery? Energy generator? Energy battery. So, four electronic parts, some aluminum, and some bolts. I actually need to create some bolts. And I also need some oxygen, but I think I'm just going to let myself suffocate. Uh, where's bolts? Ten. There. Hey, I can put it against the... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's just do that. Now, is it charging? Oh, it is charging. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go find some oxygen before I die. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I was going too fast. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cool. Okay, so that's 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 perfect. So we can build a solar panel. Uh, the other thing we need to do is make this catcher thing trap. So we need bolts again and metal parts. We have metal parts. Oh. There we go. Hey, did I did I just get some aluminum in there too? Okay, so let's let's make a catcher. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, and I need an ebocyte or whatever the hell this is. There we go. So the trash trap just sort of sticks out there. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like I can only put them on the top or on the deck. Uh, what just happened? Oh. There. And it needs energy, so I'm guessing that I can't use this. No, I can only connect it to one at a time. And I'm and I know that the battery can only connect to one thing at a time too. Yeah. So let's try. No. We'll pick it up. There. There. Now, does it just... Will it attract things within a certain radius, or... How far away? Oh! That seems to be pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Oh, that's, that's okay. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of batteries for the stations and we're going to disconnect them uh, whenever we have like enough stuff. But um, I'm pretty sure we don't have enough. Um, I only have one thing of aluminum left. There. Now, I don't need light. I'm not going to make light. Um, light's expensive. Uh, I need bolts. Lots of stuff I don't, that I don't have. So, and I'm not even going to try to get them. Let's just organize this a little bit. Organize a little bit here. We'll leave the meat in here, too. But we have to destroy this to get out, because we don't have a door yet. So, uh, we can't move that anymore because it's loaded with stuff. And the battery is probably sticking out the side. No, it's not. Okay, it's sticking out a little bit. Uh, so I do want to reorganize stuff. I'll put a battery behind each one of the stations. Um, and... I am going to guess that each one of the stations can function um, with just one solar panel 
and a battery. I'm not sure about the battery part. That will be for next time though, because we've we've gotten we've gotten a base here. We've con we've we've gone up. Um I've played for a pretty long time. I think like three hours now. Uh just to get up to this point, and most of that was just like mining stuff. And uh uh we've opened up all of the item database oh no the the um the robot's still there although i on there, i read on the discussion board that the robot isn't fully implemented that he's just playing with the ai for now so it's more like just a pet that'll follow you around which is fucking creepy it's like amy on uh stationers except amy does mine oh look at look look the food just shot itself into the into the there we go so This is actually my third play session with the thing. Uh, the first one was to learn how to play it. I was recording, but uh, um, Discord took over the microphone for some reason and started automatically changing the uh, uh, the line level, and it screwed up the recording completely, so I threw that out. Um, that was the second recording. The first the first recording, I don't remember why I threw it out, but... Yeah, this is a good game. So I've I've played this probably like six hours now. Let's see what uh, what Steam says. Steam says. Steam says I played this game for seven hours. I played three dollars. Paid three dollars for this thing. So that's about what thirty cents or forty cents. Uh, uh, an hour. Like that's that's. Uh, that's uh that's well spent. Forty-two cents an hour. It's on sale. Pretty good game. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this. Bye.